What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here, and once I started uploading videos on YouTube, uh, they weren't really getting any views. Now, my first video that kind of exploded and got a lot of views, and that's kind of the way or the direction where I took my channel after that, uh, was when I created this flowing stair in Revit tutorial. So, it's just a stair I found on the internet, and I modeled it, and uh, I guess uh, you liked it, and you watched that video. Now, uh, I was just scrolling through Pinterest uh, a few days ago and I came up uh, and I found this image of a quite a similar stair but a sort of a different design. Uh, so uh, I guess it was like a blast from the past and I decided to model that stair in Revit as well and that's what this quick fun tutorial is going to be all about. Now, if you're new to Revit and maybe you're interested in uh, starting from the beginning and working your, uh, your way up to an intermediate or even advanced level, uh, check out my website. First, the link in the description there. I've got uh, a whole beginner course, a 16-hour beginner course, pretty much everything you need to know about Revit, and then a lot of intermediate and advanced courses along the way. And if you're interested in all of my Revit project files, well, then check out my Patreon, second link in the description. There I got all of my Revit project files and some of those uh, uh, more advanced courses as well. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so here we are in Revit and let's immediately get started by starting a new project and for the template, I'm just going to go with the architectural template as this is going to be a simple demonstration. Uh, now, what I'm going to do first is just adjust the levels uh, just slightly. So if I go here to the South Elevation in the Project Browser, uh, you're going to notice that the level 2 is at 4,000 millimeters or 4 meters. Let's just drop that down to 3,000 just to, well, to make it a bit easier to model as we have, we will have less steps. Now I'm going to go back into level one here and now let's create our stair first. So uh, for this particular model, I'm going to start off by using a regular stair sort of as a template or as a calculation of how many steps I need and what's going to be the height of the step, each step and the position of each step. So I'm just going to go here to the stair tool and then in the properties, just make sure to go with the monolithic stair. Now it's just going to go from level 1 up to level 2 and uh, the actual run width it's currently set at 1000 and that's going to work for this project. So I'm just going to draw a vertical stair like this and then just hit finish. Uh, now here we have uh, the railing so I'm just going to get rid of that on both sides, maybe get rid of this sign, there we go. Okay so now we're left with just the uh, stair and if I go into the default 3D view this is what we have. Okay, so now we're going to be using this stair to model our uh, staircase, but uh, or to model our floating stair, uh, but also let's add the top floor because it's going to make it a bit easier to uh, to, to kind of to model everything. So just go here to level two, just project browser level two, and then uh, let's zoom in a little bit. Uh, go to the floor tool and let's create a simple rectangle just from here like that. Hit finish. There we go. Okay, so once we have this, we pretty much have everything that we need in place to get started modeling our stair. Uh, so to model the actual floating stair, we're going to be creating an in-place component. So you need to be here on the architecture tab, go to the component tool, expand the drop menu and click on model in place. Uh, now for the category, of course, you're going to choose the stair category. Here we go, stairs, click OK, and we can just call it stairs one, click OK again, and there we go. Now we're going to be modeling this as a series of extrusions. So what you want to do is navigate again uh, to the south elevation and now we have this front facing view of our stair. Uh, now uh, to model the stair we're going to do, uh, as I said, create a series of extrusions. So you just go here to the extrusion tool and when you get this uh, work plane pop up, so Revit wants to uh, specify which work plane you're working on and what you're just going to do is use the pick a plane option, click OK zoom in to the first riser and it's going to highlight like this in blue. Now if you get just one line that means it's using the uh, the thread so uh, you can either use the tab key or you can just try to go kind of uh, to the other point until it, the whole thing highlights like this like a rectangle and perhaps if you're in 3D view uh, yeah this is what you want to select. There we go. Now we can start modeling. So let's go back to South Elevation 
And what we're going to do is just create a simple rectangle first. So you're basically using the stair as a template, then hit the escape key a couple of times, uh, get rid of just this line. And then I'm going to switch to the spline tool and then I go uh, in a straight line like this, then go all the way up to the top and then another straight line kind of like that. And then you can just go to the modify tool to stop that. Now, of course, you can uh, adjust this so you can play around with the angle and everything. So perhaps adjust it like that. There we go. So once this is adjusted, now what I'm going to do is just select this line, go to copy and just copy it from the top here uh, down here to the bottom. Uh, of course, we have to make uh, some minor adjustment here to the uh, to the position of these nodes, just like that. There we go. I think this looks correct. And then finally, uh, just uh, cap this off uh, like that. Okay, so we have our first profile. Now, once you hit finish, uh, and let's go into the 3D view. It's going to look like this. So as you can see, it extruded kind of on the wrong side. So if I orbit around, you're going to notice that we have these grips, extrusion shape handles. So I can just flip that to the other side and uh, we just want to snap it here to the next uh, riser, just like that. There we go. Okay, so with this done, we can select this shape, uh, go back into level one, zoom in a little bit, go to copy, and then we can unconstrain this and copy it here from this point up to this point. There we go. Uh, now we have to move it up a step. So let's go into 3D. So we need to move it up to the second step. So let's go back into South Elevation, zoom in a little bit, uh, go to the Move tool, and then you want to move it from the bottom up here. There we go. So now if we go into 3D, this is what we have. Uh, but of course, we need to adjust this. It has to end up at the same position as this one. So you want to go to the south elevation again, select the extrusion, go into edit extrusion. And now you can select this part, uh, go to the, uh, well, let's select the bottom one first. And then go to the final one, drop it down a little bit. And then you want to adjust uh, the spline align maybe like that. And then this one as well, move it down, make sure it's vertical here, vertical here. Maybe pull it out a little bit. There we go. And then this one, we're just going to flip around and cap it off. Okay, so there we go. If I hit finish and go into 3D, this is what we get. So we have that second step in place. So you basically want to continue this process. So let me j just do one more and I'm going to time lapse the rest of this because uh, I guess it's kind of repetitive. So again, uh, just go to South Elevation, uh, zoom in, go to copy, then move it up. So you can either go first uh, moving it backwards or moving it up. So just keep in mind that uh, for the first one you should copy and then for the second one you should move. So first we copy it up, we go to level one and then we use the move tool to move it back. There we go. Now again, if we go into 3D, this is what it looks. So again, we have to readjust this. So let's just go to the south elevation. Uh, edit extrusion and then uh, let's move the bottom one first. So move this point first, readjust, readjust here. There we go. Then move the second point down, readjust, readjust and then see. So you want to have kind of continuous thickness. So here it seems to be a bit uh, narrow. So expand this node a little bit. There we go. And we just want to flip this uh, down. There we go. Hit finish. And it looks really good right now. Okay, so uh, basically that's the process that we're going to be continuing. So what I'm just going to do is time lapse the rest uh, of uh, these modifications.
and this is what we get in the end. So I, I'm just going to select all of these extrusions and just for the material, let's just set that to uh, some sort of a wood material just to make it look a bit nicer. Uh, so I'm just going to go with the birch wood, load that and hit apply, okay. There we go. And now I can just finish this model. Uh, now the next step will be to select the stair itself, so the original one, and just hit delete. And also I'm just going to select this floor, maybe make it a bit thicker, maybe the 300 millimeter type will work better. Now there is no gap over here. And also let me go here to edit boundary and maybe edit the boundary so uh, perhaps it includes this part over here. I think it's going to look a bit nicer and I'm just going to go to trim and extend and trim and extend this to corner here and here as well. Hit finish, going back into 3D and this is what we get. Now if I turn on realistic, there we go. So this is a really cool kind of a floating stair effect. Uh, it's not that complicated to model as you can see, it does take a bit of time. Uh, it's in, uh, I guess it's, uh, you can say that it's an annoying manual process, but the finished product looks really cool and I'm quite happy with this. So there you go, that's how you create this floating stair in Revit. Now, as I said, if you want to download this project file, check out my Patreon, link is in the description. And also, if you're interested in some advanced courses, both beginner courses, intermediate and advanced courses, uh, check out my website at balkanarchitect.com. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, this quick tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back with another tutorial in a few days. Make sure to subscribe, and have a nice day.